Welcome to this week's Whiteboard Wednesday. Today we're talking all about MITRE ATT&CK, what it is, how your security team can use it, and how it's helping drive a larger mindset shift for blue teams all around the world for Assume Breach. I'm Eric Sun, part of the detection and response team here at Rapid7. So first off, who is MITRE? MITRE is a nonprofit organization that does work with private industry and the US government and their mission is to solve problems to make the world a safer place. They've done a ton of work around counterterrorism, bank fraud, and certainly cybersecurity. Uh, many of us are familiar with MITRE for helping maintain the common vulnerabilities and exposures CVE list, uh, super valuable input for vulnerability management technology around the world. MITRE ATT&CK consists of three matrices, pre-attack, attack, and mobile, and together, they comprise a end-to-end -end attack chain filled with all of the, the successful techniques that adversaries use to breach organizations. And so while the concept of an attack chain is not new, the visibility into the confirmed techniques um, really provides information to blue teams that previously was only reserved for elite incident responders or otherwise classified information. And so it starts with initial reconnaissance and scouting out the delivery mechanism, uh, whether it be phishing or malware with pre-attack. And then once the adversary has internal access to the network, certainly that privilege escalation, lateral movement, um, data exfiltration, uh, and ending with command and control. So the reason that this is valuable for blue teams is that you can map this against your current detection and data collection in your environment. And so a lot of teams are taking this even a step further by emulating, for example, advanced persistent threats and seeing the true risk of these techniques in their internal environment. The thing to consider is that MITRE ATT&CK is very focused on protecting the internal network for compromise. So if you also have to monitor, for example, infrastructure as a service or web applications, you should prioritize the techniques you're going to monitor for and simulate accordingly to really match with the most frequent uh, threats to your organization. But perhaps the most valuable point is that MITRE ATT&CK isn't just a list of techniques. Um, it's, we've all heard the adage, um, it's not if a company is going to get breached, but when. And so that you know, fuddy phrase really takes on new meaning when we have really good information on the adversary groups um, what techniques they're likely to use, and what they're going to do once they're on the internal network. And so instead of thinking an attacker only needs to be right once to successfully get in and breach a company, instead we can flip it on its head by the attacker only needs to slip up or get detected once for the blue team to detect, contain, and ultimately eradicate that threat from the environment. So this community-led Im initiative is really shedding a ton of great visibility uh, into confirmed attacks techniques that adversaries are using every day. So that's a brief overview of MITRE. If you'd like to learn more, certainly check out their wiki. AttackCon concluded recently. All of those sessions are available for streaming on YouTube. A ton of great content. And if you're looking at detection and response in your organization, uh, check out Rapid7's detection-focused SIM Insight IDR, as well as our 24-7 uh, managed detection and response service. That's it for this week's Whiteboard Wednesday. Catch you at the next one.